I think um, we surround ourselves traditionally with people who are capable of doing a job, but the moment that they show that real creativity and desire to push forward, it can be a threat directly to, to the business. And you've got to be comfortable enough in your own shoes to, to grow around that and have people around you who are actually smarter than you. Um, something I learned a long time ago. I would just add that it happened to be all men at that table. And I had already been a top performer. I was business development professional of the year. I was a director. I was wearing two hats within a major organization. But it could have been women at that table too. And that threat, if you will, that could occur uh, whether it's men or women at the table. So I've recognized that other times in my life. And it's something I acknowledge. So I'm not just going to put it to the level of it's it's men deciding my fate. So I think it goes in different directions. Yeah. But also interesting to hear that you didn't really see it as a challenge yourself for, for, for the majority of that time. And I think that's true of a lot of people who are successful is they recognize that there are obstacles out there, but they don't really see those things as challenges. They are just so driven and focused on their own progression, development, their end goals. And it's great to see that you finally achieved the, the, the sorts of role that you wanted to get into in the first place. If you can't get there by any other means, make it happen yourself. And I think that's a great lesson for anybody that's out there that's that's aspiring in similar shoes. Um, to bring it back a little bit to the wine and spirits industry, like that's a, it's a fairly traditional industry, right? It's We've always done things this way. This is how things will be done. Nothing really much changes. People will always want to drink wine and spirits. Why do we need to be different? What's the coolest thing that's happening with wine and industry right now that you've seen? 